Hello out there, all you YouTubers there in Christ Cyberspace land. I got a new prophecy today. I'm prophesying a Washington, D.C. earthquake. I'm kind of laid back on my couch today. I'm one of them old laid back couch potato pre preachers prophets for God's glory. So on the prophecy in the Washington, D.C. earthquake is a judgment of God. For in the Bible, earthquakes mean judgment. This is judgment for President Obama for the 1967 Israeli borders. He wants Israel to give uh, all the land up, go back to and through the U.S. Congress, all the monkey business they're doing, the three ring circus, and God's on the throne. This is just a wake up call for them the next time the big one to hit Washington, D.C. If our U.S. Congress don't repent and if our President Obama don't repent because President Obama is Antichrist. And Next time, I believe God will get a stronger earthquake, and uh, you'll see the White House get destroyed, and uh, you'll see U.S. Congress get destroyed right now. Here's another sign for God. Washington Monument got kind of tore up a little and destroyed on this last earthquake, and that shows that that's the beginning of our nation. That's a sign from God that President Obama is destroying our nation, our sovereignty, and U.S. Congress are selling out to the New World Order people there, the New World Order agenda, and New York got shook, and Wall Street got shook, God's going to crash Wall Street, and why Washington, D.C. got hit with this earthquake, because they're the political authority, the power of the laws of the land, and God's still in control, the whole wide world is in His hands, God's still in control, the whole wide world is in His hands, President Obama ain't control, Wall Street ain't control, U.S. Congress ain't con control, but God of Israel and Jesus, the Savior, Messiah, is in control. And uh, you're going to see a lot more things God's doing that when He does in the natural and the supernatural, the power of God's happening, these spiritual earthquakes, but when He does in the natural, this natural earthquake in Washington, D.C., it's going to be more... Uh, destruction, political destruction, it's going to be financial destruction, God is on the throne and heaven is his throne, the earth is his footstool, God is in control, we're seeing Bible prophecy being fulfilled in the last days, earthquakes in diver places in Matthew chapter 24, even Mr. Obama, he's in a Martha Vineyard now, Massachusetts, he's doing a lot of the top secret behind closed doors talking with all the New World Order that Martha Vineyards is a New World Order hangout, the Wall Street fat cats, all the rich and famous the celebrity. He is doing some uh, dirty deeds there for getting his agenda, getting ready with New World Order destroyed this United States of America. And you're going to see a, a political earthquake when election time comes around. Next time it's going to be all these incumbent Republicans and Democrats People's going to vote them out. The poor people's tired of them. They destroyed the middle class. The poor is getting poor and the rich is getting richer. And uh, God's got things in His hands. And He's in control. And this is God's prophecy that you're going to see the next big one in uh, Washington, D.C. There'll be more wipe of Washington, D.C. out with total destruction. And don't be surprised. The Lord showed me by it. 20 years ago, that guy had this suitcase, uh, nuclear weapon. I even seen Washington uh, C get destroyed, the Capitol get destroyed, the White House get destroyed. Uh, right now, no reason the judgment of God's on Washington, D.C. They're letting the homosexual agenda, two men can get married legally, two women can get married legally. That's what the God of Israel destroyed, Solomon and Gomorrah, because of homosexuality. And God, we pray that then people get on their knees to repent. God, I don't want nobody to die go to hell. I don't want my worst enemy, Lord. That's my prayer today, Lord. And I want to bow before you today, Lord. And all your prayer warriors pray with me today. Oh, God, do a miracle in Washington, D.C. Let President Obama repent. Let U.S. Congress repent. 
Oh, let Wall Street repent, Lord, and the New World Order agenda, God. They have to repent, Lord Jesus, or this nation will be destroyed. You will destroy this nation with your judgment, with your earthquakes, God, with your tornadoes or floods or, or a nuclear war, God. We're on the brink of the beginning of the end, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on our soul today. We pray over the United States of America that the people get on their knees and, and your raiment will pray for this America's in the wrong direction. They head back serving you, God. You showed the sign with the Washington Monument. You de destroyed it with the cracks. That President Obama, U.S. Congress going down the wrong road with a new world agenda. They're destroying this nation. This is your holy nation, Lord. We give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you don't know Jesus Christ, your personal Savior, here's your opportunity to ABCs of Jesus Christ. Accept, believe, and confess Jesus. Forgive you for your sin and save your soul. And your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Someday when you die, you'll go to heaven and be with Jesus forever and ever. No more sorrow, no more pain, no more suffering, no more tears, no more death. Say this prayer with me if you don't know Jesus Christ is your personal Savior today. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, I repent of my sin. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, my name's written in the last book of life. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, the angels in heaven rejoicing, blowing the trumpets, playing the harps. Oh, God has made front page news in heaven. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. If you said that prayer, email me. Make a comment on George and Betty Kelly's channel on YouTube. And I thank YouTube for another anointed video today that's consecrated and dedicated and committed and sanctified. I lift this up to YouTube in Jesus' name today. The hand of God touch your people out there today. Touch Washington, D.C. Oh, God, have mercy on them. We need a miracle that the U.S. Congress repent. President Obama repent. Oh, all the uh, New World Order uh, global goblins, new world order gurus, gurus will repent in Jesus' name. If they don't, this nation will be destroyed. Oh, God, have mercy on the United States of America. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for you two putting this video on here for me today. Just let your presence come today. Down, anoint your people, consecrate your people, dedicate your people, sanctify your people in Jesus' name. May God of Israel bless you forever and ever. Jesus, Savior, Messiah of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have a good day. God bless you. Me and Betty love you all. We're praying for you. Please pray for us, for at least the Brother Ministry in Pinkneyville, Illinois. This is God of Israel's global prophet to the nation's ministry. We're YouTube's prophet to the nation. I'm God's newspaper prophet to the nation. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God and hallelujah.